Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We are making our way from... I think it were the British Virgin Islands, I'm pretty sure. The ones over here, approximately. What the hell is TNCM? One second. TNCM uh, Airport. Yeah, St. Martin. That's uh, a little island. That is indeed near the British Virgin Islands. Yes. These are the British Virgin Islands, American Virgin Islands. This one I think is part of Puerto Rico. And we are making our way to Turk Island or something. Islands. And hopefully we are still a bit on course. Where are we? Yeah, I think we can actually go two degrees to the left. Let's go from 308. The heading will be 306. The autopilot hopefully should correct. Yes goes to 307 now and in not too long it will be 306 hopefully there we go there we are um, yeah so we are flying real time I was island hopping in the Caribbean and yeah actually the islands are pretty far apart so it uh, also has some downtime like this piece of uh, uh, stretch of flights not much to explore here except the uh, sea water not much ship traffic over here <coughs> <coughs> but we are nearing uh, where we need to go 67 nautical miles we're there and we will be making a pit stop to put in some fuel it is actually uh, yeah a pretty long flight what I did with the uh, Caribbean island hopping uh, in total starting from St. Barth going southwards to uh, Martinique to Guadeloupe checking out some landmarks, making uh, a U-turn back to the northwest uh, with final destination Nassau Bahamas and um, it actually is some uh, over 1400 nautical miles but it actually also yeah, it may appear boring but it's also pretty cool to do it because you really get a feel for the real life distances and um, yeah stars and stuff so I don't mind that much it's Saturday evening uh, and I'm actually enjoying myself in this flight so probably not the most uh, exciting to watch on YouTube but yeah this is also Microsoft Flight Simulator
there are actually um, guys who post real uh, time flights from let's say Europe to New York in uh, airliners like eight hour flights and stuff I see myself doing that myself later on maybe as well I wouldn't say I'm crazy enough but some lands after an hour of sea I don't see it right we do need to go more to the left Republic is supposed to be somewhere over there, but it's out of sight. Yeah, you can just make it out over there in the far, far distance. I see some mountain outlines. sense it's to the left by the way I am quickly saving the game Yeah, 
we're still pretty far away. Ah, we are actually landing on one of the first islands. Disconnect the autopilot and take it on myself from here. Let's throttle back a bit. Let's get a bit lower. Miami Center, why would I want to do that? Miami Center, PH ROM 883,100 feet. PH ROM 88, Miami Center, altimeter 30.05, continue as planned. PH ROM 88, verify squawking 4646. Miami Center, PH ROM 88, cancel flight following. PH ROM 88, Miami Center, cancellation received. Squawk 7000. Frequency change approved. Grand Turk Tower, PH ROM 883, one miles east, 2,800 feet to land. PH ROM 88, Grand Turk Tower. Altimeter tree, zero decimal, zero five wind, zero niner, six, a tree tree. Make left downwind, runway one two. Runway 1-2, left downwinds. Fly left traffic runway 1-2, PH ROM 88. I thought she said oh nine. Like so. Barometer set. And they're supposed to be uh, left downwind runway. Right, then we have to fly left of the runway. I see the island already a little bit, right about there. See if we can see the direction of the airfield. Yes, I think this is the airstrip. We have to fly left from it. This um, whole destination locator, it's a little bit, uh, or marker is a bit all over the place. It moves around dynamically. Right, I'm almost... 
was crashing in the sea, sorry about that. Always getting a little bit anxious near the landing. Let's just um, yeah, by the way, let's just stay, let's do what we do. doing what we're doing I think the airfield is to the south of the islands but I'm not sure how these islands they all have ties to different European countries this is like a UK protectorate or whatever it's linked in the past to the UK you have Saba which is linked to the Netherlands you have all those Martinique Guadeloupe all linked to France pretty interesting Besides, there it is. So we will be flying uh, to the left of it. There it is. Man, this is a small island. And it's called Grand Turk Islands to imply something big but it's not really that big and there is the airfield pretty long airstrip very nice get landing clearance now that we are in the pattern usually they come back online themselves fly left traffic yes right very nice Let's continue what we're doing for a bit. And then we will be making a U-turn. land runway 12PH ROM 88. We will be making a 180. There are the other Turks in Kakwa Islands. Right. Here we go. How shall we? make this turn a 
little bit like so. This should get us lined up pretty nicely. One hundred and twenty degrees check, but we are a little bit off to the left. Let's correct. And we had like flaps first stage 178 speed we are now max speed we are 73 so i am now engaging the first level of flaps and immediately landing gear as well why not oh shit now i'm too much to the right hope we still maintain lift second level of flaps to get the speed further down and I am too high if I look at the Vasi or Papi lights over there I'm not sure how that system is called, but we should have two red lights and two white lights, and we now have four white lights, and red, white I think means that you're too high, red means you're too low. Man, this is a small island, pretty fun island. Maybe a good holiday destination. I'm not sure what those lights are doing. Am I really that high? I wouldn't say so. Are they working at all? I don't want to go too low because I doubt I will be able to Ah, now they are working. All right, if I get, yes, now I'm on the perfect glide slope. But let's try, ah, I'm too low. Not sure. Yeah, I'm now way too low. Again, yeah, I'm still low. Oh shit. I'm almost at stall speed. God damn it, I thought it would go smoothly. Ah, we're over the runway. That's a good one. That's always a good thing. Alright. 
very nice to have like a big runway for a change on these islands. Alright, I'm not even going to activate reverse I would say. Not even necessary. Hopefully there is a... Yeah, I hope there is a taxi way out of here. In the previous airstrip there also was no taxi way. You just have to do 180 on the airstrip itself. Only one access and exit point. But this is an international airfield. I assume there is an exit at both sides, right? Ah, here it is. Very nice. No, this is only to turn the plane around, I guess. Yeah, I don't see an exit. Um, 121 decimal niner PH ROM 88. Yeah, I think they have so little air traffic here that they don't need separate taxiways. You can just. You have enough time. To just use the runway itself as a taxiway. The next plane will come only in an hour or something. Anyways, let's make our way to the parking, which seems to be over there to the right. Right about there. Like so. Um, ah, actually pretty cool. If you're near a gas station, you automatically get this menu. That's, was not aware of that. Anyways, uh, for now. Let's... Turn off the plane. So, and another landing in the pockets. Operational condition time. Um, let's also, before anything happens, crashes, whatever, save the game. And we are pretty good. Probably I should have uh, activated the inertial separator. Forgot about that. And over here everything is in auto, which is pretty fine. I can uh, yeah, put it to off as well. Auxiliary booster pump off, um, but it doesn't have electricity anyways. But yeah, let's just put it off for the sake of it. This is the emergency locator transmitter, I think. You can test it. 
but not without electricity probably to test press test for one second then release alrighty um, flaps are up let's close the fuel tanks fuel supply and pitol heat and pitol right stall heat and stall heater i have no idea what a stall heater is um that is off and we are good to get out of it here we are on grand turk islands check the gas prices hmm no running engines not with uh, lightning storms no people in the plane not sure what that bottom left one is probably that you have to pull the fuel hose or something and you have to use those blocks under the wheels that the plane remains steady um, anywho walk around a bit i do know i will walk around a bit still have a couple of minutes left in the episodes but what i did notice is sometimes if i get too far from the airplane uh yeah you get a game over screen like the game the plane crashes then suddenly which is a bit weird ah pretty cool another plane landing actually over here I do have live traffic on, although this is not live anymore because yeah, it is live from a couple of days ago, but I actually saved the game and started uh, the next day a couple of times. So it is not all fully real time anymore since the uh, start of the journey when we started, I think, at St. Barth's. But let's check out this landing. And also, let's check out the sea, maybe. All right, I will not go that much further towards the sea I actually wanted to go towards the sea but it's still a decent distance because I'm afraid the plane may crash let's just watch the landing from over here approximately there it comes sound was a little bit um, meek but still pretty nice all right i will quickly go to the water let's see if that works and if not then uh, if the game and the plane crashes uh, then the game will the recording will not crash probably so i can still do the outro but if we can get there Then, um, yeah, I wonder why that's in the previous episode or the one before. Once, once I got too far away, it crashed the plane. But maybe that is because of the uh, the button assignments. Then I was actually climbing up in this camera to scale a mountain on Saba. It was maybe that is then also controlling the airplane rudder or something and that it actually indeed moved the airplane it started rolling or something and then it maybe crashed into something i have no idea because now i'm actually also very far away from the airplane and it's still doing fine 
and I'm not doing anything. I'm not speeding up the camera, I'm not climbing or lowering it. I'm just only moving straight ahead. So maybe it is some of those other controls, camera controls, that can make the... Um, make the plane crash. Anyways, these ground textures and stuff all doesn't look that good. Let's see about the water. It's a lot more dark blue water compared to uh, the earlier island we were on. I don't even remember which island that was. Three, four episodes ago, I also went for a swim. There is a... Uh, let's see if I can quickly get there. Uh, what looks to be like a city over there. Uh, at least the watercolor is a bit nicer over here. Uh, and this is probably the... Um, single city on the island with some hotels There's actually some activity going on the majestic islands of San uh, no, Grand Turk Island. Anyways, I have to end the episode here, guys, in the next one. By the way, I had a mod installed, which fades out these uh, taxi markings a bit, because they were indeed a little bit oversaturated in the base game, but I'm really not sure whether I like it. On a small little airstrip like this, it does look better than it used to. Otherwise it was almost like fluorescent yellow, like it was painted yesterday. And that is yeah, not really fitting for most airfields. Uh, but anyways, I uh, have to end the episode here. We'll hopefully see you in the next one. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.